Tantig is a lovely and healing all my relations. Good morning, Heichka. So I'm just here going past the, uh, um, that is the uh, Friendship Center, Aboriginal Friendship Center shelter. Um, this is where I started off a year ago, a little over a year ago, just walking my around out here, sending good energy. One of my homies just made it back into the shelter again, but he's doing good overall. Um, Heichka. Um, yeah, so I'm just going around in community, bring my energy. Also because I'm getting really irritated in my apartment there. You know, a lot of energy projections happening. So, you know, whenever that stuff comes around, you... And even if it is something that's sent to you, you have to transmute that. Um, and uh, the best way to always do that is, and the easiest way, is to go out for a fucking walk. So, I guess I am outside. Got my, uh, my eagle... Um, poncho on um, my umbrella good thing I listened to my ancestors They're like take the umbrella I'm like no and they're like take the umbrella I'm like okay yeah and thank goodness because I can walk around comfortably in the hood um, being relatively dry so I'm so grateful right now I guess all my relations and I just have to actually say like wow the streets are starting to get much more cleaner I raise my hands to everyone um, I have a lot of friends who are homie G's who are part of the street cl uh, cleaning crews Mission Possible, that uh, OMG Dave, and his crews that he helps lead. I know Dave is Archangel Gabriel, there you say. Um, people need to know the angels that walk these streets, okay, just as I am. I'm an earth angel. But, uh, and people who, you know, I find it very comical. Yo, actually, I'm going to have my poster up here one day. Until this, actually, I have big dreams for this fucking building here on Commercial Drive. Um, I don't shoot this. I don't need to roll anyway. Uh, commercial main um, but yeah star sea stations new head locations for our programs but when uh, or star warriors I want to call it star warrior stations but um, yeah man uh, I go around bring my energy out here and those who are called to help in the hood um, you know we are called to help and bring our energy here and help as much as we can but we also understand that we can't do um, we need to be in safe, secure areas relatively because we also go out into the hood. So it's just like, you know, any uh, officer who goes out protecting the people um, and helping them in any form. Um, there's a calling for that. Uh, and understand, like, you know, that calling is real, right? That calling is it's, it's more than just uh, you want to help. It's because you literally, if you when you are an empath, a high, uh, very strong spiritual empath, um, you, you hear people suffering, you hear people crying out in pain and, um, and it doesn't matter what nation you're from, which anywhere on this, this planet, um, there's a lovely planet named Mother Gaia. Um, but when you, when you hear your soul tribe crying out in pain and you don't understand why you're being called to certain stuff, it's because you're actually here to help your spiritual brothers and spiritual sisters, your, um, and your soul tribe out of situations as they're spiritually growing and ascending um and you might just meet them for a moment or have them uh long term in your life um, but understand that uh, whenever we have the blessings of having a better life in this existence and you're called to help the people no it's because you actually forget to have uh you hear your soul tribe and others crying out and help for help and uh and when you have peace and and um prosperity and blessings in your life understand like there's an innate cycle of to give is to receive and when you're at peace you want to help others to get their peace as well because in peace you can create you can think you can heal um and uh feel inspired here and be connected to your ancestors um bird nation um yeah and uh and only in peace you can do that um and the greatest trick the devil has ever done was the fact that he was sent in to disturb your peace it's as simple as that whatever disturbs your peace meaning if it's mental issues physical issues uh, and ailments um all you know physical mental spiritual and psychological um when these aren't uh when they're always in chaos and um, turmoil is disrupting your life, 
you can't do anything. So, and it's just like any foundation of a house or building, you need to have that on a firm foundation for healing or for any type of building to happen. Same thing with the human uh, soul and the human experience. And also remember collective, your spiritual beings have a human experience. Okay, oh my homie. Oh yeah, so I was able to find out though my homie who, um, so it was my homie, he was fucking drink. He's on a bender right now and he's back in town. I'm so happy to see you, my homie G. Um, but yeah, he, so I'm like, why am I slurring? I don't drink. Why am I having a hangover? <laughs> it's like, oh, and then I ran into him yesterday at uh, the park there. And I'm like, bro, while well, he's with happily <laughs> drinking with this other growling homie there, which I had to check. <laughs> it comes in a certain way. I'm like, looks like the, bro, <laughs> the moment... So we were getting a little bit confrontational. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm a high path, right? So I'm mimicking his energy, even though he's standing there a certain way. And I'm like, bitch, please, this is on you. If I'm getting bitchy to you, that's you. Because the moment I was talking to my homie G, we we're just like, yeah, we're happy. Like two Nietzsche's just like wants to bounce around. <laughs> um, it's it. But when, um, <laughs> but then the homie, the guy, my, my homie G's friend, homie, he was just like, but the moment I checked him, and then I said, bro, it looks like there's a lot of demon in him. <laughs> he go, what? And then he got insecure. And then he kind of, and then later on, you know, he got yeah, jealous because my, my homie G came to come talk to me because I was talking to another homie, homie G. And then <laughs> he's like, goes off. He's like, oh, you know, you, you, had to, you, uh, you said you're going to stay over here with me. I'm like bro drama <laughs> bro jealousy <laughs> i was like okay but uh it was interesting though when i said wow it looks like there's a lot of demon in you and he actually took seriously offense right and then he was quiet and then i went off talking to my homie g and i'm like whoa <laughs> uh, i guess certain people it's like uh that can mean something which is a good thing i can work with that as a spiritual social worker which i am to my nietzsche warriors out here this i can work with that I can sell my relations out.